Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Let's Enhance.io. So I'll be showing you the basics about it, what you can do with it, how to create images using AI, and how to enhance it and upscale it. So you've got plenty of tools using Let's Enhance AI. As you can see here, you've got uh, things like printing, background removal, enhancer, upscaler, sharpener, and plenty more really. So and also alongside uh, things like actually creating images and using AI and stuff. Uh, so really you've got plenty of things to do here when it comes to images and just, uh, and en enhancing them as the name entails. Let's enhance. So first let's just talk about the pricing, the pricing, they use a credit system. So for each credit, you basically create an image or when it comes to enhancement and stuff, you will be using credits as you go. And here they give you, uh, some plans over here, like a few credits, like 100, 300, or 500 credits uh, per month, if you want. Uh, so you have the comparisons here. The only thing that really changes between the last three here, the unused credits that you can save up. And remember that unused credits roll over to the next month, as well as no watermark and things like that. You can just come over to this page and compare them yourself and see which one is best for you. But you can also but just but like buy credits without actually subscribing to any plan and just use them as well if you uh, if that's what you really really want. So, let's actually get into it. So, if we just uh start by going to this page right here, if we go back a little bit, here you can just start for free, create your account, sign up using your Gmail or whatever it may be, just sign up and start using it. So once you sign up, you should find yourself in this page and you have a few credits. Um, so if you're starting for free, obviously you start with uh, 10 credits, uh, like I have here. And here is going to be the image enhancement section. Uh, and here is going to be the generation section. So for the enhancement, uh, let's let's actually start with the generation. So here they get you just type in whichever prompt that you want. If you click on surprise, you can just find they give you like random uh, a random prompt. Like as you can see, watercolor illustration of dark abandoned city uh, and stuff. So if you just don't really know what you want, you can just click on surprise and it's just going to generate something for you. But let's just uh, type in something like uh, the blue uh, nature or something. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, and then we just start filtering things like going to photo or illustration or 3D. Let's go illustration and then you get more options as you go. So here you can do like sketch, vector. Uh, let's just do fantasy and then let's, you can just go to colors here and see which type of colors you want. We can go to um, cool because we want like really strong blue colors. And then you got aesthetics, post-apocalyptic, horror, cyberpunk. Let's go with just, we, we can just leave it off without even touching it. So if you don't pick anything, it's not really going to count anything. So you don't, you're not it's optional basically is what i'm trying to say here but here let's let's actually just pick this and then point of view uh let's just do the side point of view uh and then you get detail level minimal or highly detailed let's go highly detailed and then the mood just dreamy maybe and then you've got artists if you want uh to just try to mimic certain artists uh drawings really i'm not going to pick any here so we've got a few filters as you can see and then we've got uh the option to just generate and if you give it a sec it's going to gem generate a few pictures for us to choose from give it a little bit it's going to take a little bit of time uh, and as you can see, we've got some of the pictures right here. Obviously the free version, you get, uh, the watermark, so you can't really get rid of it unless you have a subscription. Um, next up, 
if you click on one of these so if you want for example to get the image you can just click on get image and then it's going to be down here in my images now that used a credit as you can see and we can simply just click on here and click on download but what if we want to play around with it uh, if we want to just uh, hold on I'm downloading the images by accident so you, you can click on here uh, if you click on send to upscale is going to send it to the enhancement section and in here we can actually start the processing uh, for smart enhance uh, or smart resize if you want but let's go smart enhance uh, size auto and then remove background if you want and then you've got other options like light ai and you can read more about them if you just hover over here We've got tone enhance and color enhance as well so let's just do color enhance uh let's just leave the tone off and the color increase a little bit we want it to be so colorful and then we just start processing <clears throat> and it's going to be processing uh, the image for us it's just going to take a few minutes so here is going to be pretty much where you do all the work so smart enhance that's what you do uh, and we've got plenty to work with. If you want to change the size, we can make it up to like six times if you want. Uh, but here it's done and it's uh, enhanced basically. This is how uh, it's going to look like. Uh, like the, the original one is a 1024 by 20, 1024. Here is going to be 2048 by 2048. And it's really going to be up to you when it comes to your settings and what you want to do with it. So if we want to remove uh, background, we can cho choose that. Uh, the tone enhancement, you can also set it to whichever you want. And you can play around with the size, as you can see. And just uh, have the options here, all of it over here. And that's really as simple as that. And it obviously takes a credit from you. So again, if you generate an image and you download it, it's going to take a credit. And once you process it, it's going to create to take another credit. I hope this video was helpful for you. And it's very easy actually to use. So you're not going to have a hard time figuring things out for yourself. Um, I mean, like other things as well as uh, maybe I didn't mention. But it's very, very easy to use and I hope my basic tutorial was helpful and benefited for you on how to use Let's Enhance.io. Thanks for watching. I almost forgot, forgot. let me show you uh, like a comparison of how it looks like after enhancing the image. So this is the original one and after enhancing the image it looks like this. So you can see it's a big difference. And because I resized it and make it bigger, the warm watermark, as you can see on the bottom left, is uh, a little bit smaller as well. So as you can see, it's it's very, very useful. And you, you get a lot of options to uh, do more to it, really. So again, hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.